Virgo, Virgo, Jergo, Nergo, Lurgo, Thurgo, Virgo. Okay, nothing rhymes with Virgo. I was gonna think of a like a cutesy nickname for you guys. We're just gonna have to stick with Virgo or the Virgs or Virgmeister, Virgtown, Virgo USA, Virgo.com slash party time. Okay, I did just think of five or six really cool nicknames and you deserve them all. Virgo, um, have you been thinking at all about your march? And no, I don't mean the way that you walk when you're in the military. I mean your month of March. Cause right now for me, your month of March is full of mystery. We have not tapped in yet and gotten some sweet, sweet downloads. That's what this video is for. Also, my name is Desi. This is my channel, Starchaeology Tarot. If you wanted to like or subscribe, it would make me weep tears of joy um, to welcome you as a, a very crucial, essential member of this community. Um, this community of seekers and light workers and people interested in improving themselves in order to improve the world. That's what we do with tarot. It's a magical tool for introspection and honestly, it's sacred. I'm off on such a tangent. Back to your March reading. What are you wondering about? What do you wanna know? Do you have an intention to set? Do you got a burning desire that needs to be let out of the bag? Do you have a burning question to ask? Please take a moment as I tune in with spirit and focus on whatever that burning something is and let's see what, what insight we can get for you. What resonates with you is what's meant for you and what doesn't, it's meant for someone else. And that's the beauty of collective readings like this. Let's start your reading now. Virgo, uh-oh, oh no, you have such a good reading alert the authorities it's too good this is so beautiful oh boy i'm really excited for you guys i'm so excited for march for you um we have the wheel of fortune um we have the wheel of okay wait a second here um we have the wheel of fortune we got the star we've got the two of wands which is about planting your desires firmly in the ground, um, creating a doorway for yourself, creating an opportunity for yourself, a portal that you can step through after careful visualizing, careful detailing of what it is that you want, of the world that you want to create, what you want to manifest outside of yourself that starts with what you're creating inside yourself. Um, and you have every reason to be hoping <laughs> expecting this dream to come true because we have the star here. There is something in the creation of this thing that you want, all of this leading up to this thing that you want, that is a healing process for you. Um, great healing on a deep cellular level is happening. Some of you, this is physical healing, I'm hearing. Some of you, this is dealing with chronic illness that has roots in emotional causes. And um, it's the understanding and unraveling of emotional patterns, of karma, karmic patterns, karmic circles. Um, you're, you're finding yourself outside of the wheel in March. You're able to step off of the hamster wheel in case, it, for, in some cases, for, for some of you, that wheel is like, um, this is like a work wheel. This is a, a hamster wheel that you've been on that's been so distracting that you haven't really been able to step outside of it and observe it for what it is. Observe yourself for what you are and, and notice bigger patterns because when you're on the wheel, all you can see really is what's right behind you and what's right in front of you. And that's, we think of that as having perspective because we're like, well, I'm in the present moment and I can see what I just came from and I can see what I'm going to. But I would disagree that that is necessarily presence. Um, yes, it can mean that you are in the present moment, but part of being in the moment is recognizing the timelessness of everything. It's, it's recognizing that this single moment is not, it, it, this is gonna sound insane, but it's recognizing that this, sim, this single moment that you're in is not specific to the timeline that you are on. Being in the present moment means being present in your body with your surroundings. It's not you thinking of yourself on this timeline of like, well, now I am in this present moment. 
and this is where I am headed and this is where I came from. It's like, no, when you are really connected with the present, time disappears because time doesn't exist because time is not linear. <laughs> time is a dot. Time is only a single present moment. So why was I telling you this? <laughs> this is all just flowing. Um, I think I was saying this because the wheel, we have the wheel of fortune here and that, that is so much about karma and um, things coming, be, being able to recognize patterns, being able to recognize um, karmic experiences, things that have happened before that are happening again, things that we find ourselves continuing to experience um, in order for us to sort them out or learn from them or improve them or change them. And when we get stuck in the wheel itself, when we mistake life for being the wheel, we miss the point of life. <sighs> so Virgo, this is so powerful because this tells me that some of you are stepping off the wheel in March. You're stepping off the wheel instead of letting the wheel define what your life is. You're holding the world in your hand and you are, you are deciding what life is. You are deciding um, your path moving forward because it's not just the, the same, same path that you've kept going on for, for years now. You're getting off of that in order to, to realize you can create the path that you want to take. Um, this is a very healing experience for you because we have the star here. This is like peace, true peace after a storm that's happened because the star comes after the tower and that's, the star is experiencing peace um, and it's not relief. There's a difference between the kind of peace we experience from relief and the peace we experience from gratitude. And one of them may hold space for negative or darker experiences and recognizes that that is necessary in order to have light. Whereas relief is like fear-based. It's still like, oh my God, thank God I'm not in that anymore because it was horrible. And I'm just, I'm just so glad that I'm not in it. It's like still so fear-focused as opposed to like, wow, that fleshed me out as a human being, as a soul. I understand things more. Um, yeah, it wasn't a pleasure to experience, but it, made me better and I wouldn't necessarily, I don't regret going through it. Um, that's like the holding duality, holding space for duality of the star. That's the kind of real peace of connection with the, the present moment, um, connection with um, timelessness. I just keep hearing that. There's something about timelessness for you guys. Maybe something is coming back for some of you from the past, like something, something karmically is coming back. Um, and you're realizing that that thing from the past is timeless. You're realizing that that love of yours, whether it's a person or a passion, a hobby, um, that there's a timelessness to that thing, then you have maybe over and over again told yourself, no, that's only a part of my past that lives in the past. Whereas now you're realizing, oh, past doesn't have to exist in, this, in the way that I think about it. I can bring this into my future and pave a new path for myself. Rewrite my relationship with this thing or this person. Um, and in doing so, maybe heal past wounds that involved it. Heal past scenarios that involved it. Um, and actually use that experience, the painful and the good, to bring into flesh my greatest dream. This is very powerful, Virgo. Oh, I so want to know what this is about for you. Please comment if, if things are resonating um, and you know this is what Spirit's talking about for you. Um, I want to say this too, Virgo, for those of you who keep saying something is over for you, it's not. 
it's not over. This isn't the world card. This isn't completion of a karmic cycle. This is just newfound awareness. This is bringing some of the unconscious beyond the veil into the conscious. Yeah, there's things that still remain beyond the veil in the unconscious space. There are still mysteries with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, we don't have everything figured out, but the Wheel of Fortune is halfway to the world. It's halfway in your story. You may have planted seeds or done things that you've expected to pay off for you karmically that haven't paid off yet. And you might be telling yourself, oh, they're not paid off yet. That's, it's the end then. I lost or, you know, this is the story I'm telling myself around this, this thing in my past. And it's not. This is, you are halfway through your story. We haven't even gotten to the climax yet. And I want to say that this is something about a hope or a dream for you. It's about something that you really desire. That you finally can um, actually take action in pursuing. Maybe it's only really lived inside you, this dream or hope. And um, in March, by the end of it, this is empowering you. This is healing you in a way. Um, you know, this getting off the wheel is healing you. This newfound awareness for you to withdraw and see the whole pattern of your life up until this point regarding this thing. Um, it's positioning you in a way that you can find the doorway to change. It's like I'm seeing like a doorway just appearing. And maybe it was hiding in plain sight. It was something that, you know was hiding in plain sight and you didn't even recognize it as a portal before. And now you're looking at it, you're like, oh wait, that's what I created. I created that portal. And I'm supposed to walk through it. Why am I not why have I not walked through it up until this point? Why do I keep going through the same old doors over here? <laughs> I should be walking through that door that I created. That's what's happening for you. There's also something about the giving up of ego that keeps us in these patterns. Um, that keeps us on the wheel. Ego, if, if ego could, could have any verb, it is I know. <laughs> and this is a letting go of what you think you know, Virgo. Um, because what you think you know might be keeping you from real peace. Question everything you know, because life has mysteries that are still unfolding for you. You're only halfway through this story. The Wheel of Fortune also signifies as things that are destined, things that are faded, and thing, all those, those destined and faded things unraveling, happening mysteriously, like miraculously sometimes, with synchronicities and um, strange coincidences that make us second guess um, or wonder really about the purpose, unseen purpose in things. And that's what's happening for you. There is unseen purpose in how things are going for you in March. And it is all supporting this hope and dream. It is all supporting your ultimate healing, your ultimate peace, lasting peace, not relief, not quick gratification relief, but lasting peace that changes your path, that changes your physical world. And there might be things that you can't explain, but if you tell yourself that you can explain everything up until this point, or that you can explain even how your story ends or how it's already ended, then you close yourself off to those synchronicities in life. You close yourself off to the miracle, to the mystery. You literally become blind to those things. When you're on the wheel, your perspective never changes. This is about taking the blindfold off. This is about taking the blindfold off, Virgo. And noticing magic more in your life, even if you can't explain why the magic is happening or what the magic means. There's, there's a trust that needs to happen in, in observing and collecting those experiences with the, with the faith, really. I mean, the, this is such a card of faith, the star. The faith that 
that they are your North Stars in some way, that they are guiding you ultimately to a place where you will be able to make sense of the path that you're on. Oh my God, this is, we say on the wheel path sometimes, we say on the wheel, we stay on the hamster wheel because we can make sense of the path before we go on it because we've already been on it. It's hard for us to get off the wheel because when we're on a path of our own design, we often can't make sense of it when we're on it. We can only make sense of it after we've traveled it. And that is the kind of faith in your hope, your dream, your destiny, because this is destiny for you, Virgo. This is hope and dream in your destiny. That the, the winding path, the turns you made without understanding why, all of it will make sense when you're at your destination, when you're at your destiny, destination. This is so, so encouraging, Virgo. I'm so excited for you. I would love to hear how this manifests for you specifically in your life. Specifically, but I can't even talk. I'm too excited. Um, please comment below. Please share. Please open your heart if you feel so desired. If you, no, <laughs> that's wrong too. If you, please open your heart if you feel so inclined. That's what I was trying to say. If you feel so inclined, please share below. Um, it is an honor to get to connect with you in this way. Even if I'm not hearing from you, it is an honor to get to connect with you energetically in this space. Um, I so respect and value your journey, Virgo. Um, I hope I am serving as a partner, friend, collaborator um, in making that journey the the best that it can be for you. Um, that's that's what Starchaeology Tarot is all about. And um, I, I really appreciate the, the joining with me. Um, I really appreciate you being here, connecting with me for that. So thank you. Um, wishing you the best March of your actual life. I'm rooting so hard for you. I love you and I'll see you next time.